Okay, so yesterday I did uh, threading stuff, a new thread pool and some attempts at fixing up uh, the thread pool to not hang occasionally. And I did a okay job when I kind of reworked it. Rather than it fa in the meantime to failure being 50 runs, it went into the number of thousands. However, and I ran these like tests overnight where I had like six windows open of the application of both sets of uh, thread pools with uh, you know what, running 10,000 loops. And in the meantime, the failure is now currently sitting at about 5,000 instead, which is better, but it's not the full 10,000 that I want. I want it to be able to basically, I want it to be error proof. And I managed to uh, open um, or link up a debugger to one of them. And I figured out that the big thing seems to be that it's hanging after when, during the terminations uh, when I'm trying to stop the uh, thing. It's freezing after this point, before this point. Like it hits this, it confirms that like all tasks are complete. There's no more tasks completing between that and going into the joins, both here and on the uh, old the new thread pool. So the same thing about here. Between this and here, it 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 uh, it uh, and start the join. Something happens that like it, it just hangs at that point. So after like on average every five thousand runs, which is not great. So. What I need is a new, I need another mechanism to be able to like properly, because this is what? Checking that all these things are done. What I need is that I need to actually perhaps, okay. Yeah. What I'm thinking is on the thread pool, we're going to have another thing. We already have tasks queued. We have the uh, tasks processing. We need those. We will have a very simple atomic uint. We're gonna have one more, one more eight bit or eight byte or four byte uh, variable that's gonna be hiding in the class or in the struct. That's gonna be like m runners zero. And what's going to happen, I believe, is rather than this, we're gonna have a slightly modified version. Where it's gonna be like while m runners is greater than zero, and we're gonna do m task available. We're gonna notify all, because we're, we're, we're I don't really care too much if I'm causing a little bit more uh, interest um, contention at this point, because I'm probably shutting down for a reason. It's to be expected. There's stuff left over, whatever. Uh, this thread, yield, I still want to yield. And we're going to be setting M runners to be like at the start of this. And then on the way back out of uh, that function. We'll still have this. This is still based on this. That's fine. This will just allow me to still do the yield. Check actually that the threads have exited correctly. And then go to join the threads rather than hoping that they are correctly removed or whatever or exited. And then leave. It also gives me the ability to just continuously keep notifying all threads to make sure, hey guys. Time to terminate. And I can actually probably get rid of that extra call up there because it'll be done down here regardless. And that should work to my mind. And then I'll do implement the same thing on the split thread pool as well. Um, Currently started. Mm 
Okay. Not bad. And then we want to do the same thing on the split thread pool. Oh, I already have it open right here. Uh, not task group. We'll kind of leave it as part of the, the total thing, so. Zero. Okay. We're going to have go down to starting no stopping while greater than zero then we run these two inside the loop and then yield So we know the, uh, the threads have exited by the time we get out of here, or they're just about to, because they're they're done with the function entirely. And I keep running it until I make sure that they're gone. Because again, like for whatever reason, it's between that wait and the joining of the threads that it kept crapping out. While I'm here, actually, I'm going to just start this. I'm going to run, again, a bunch of extra windows. I'm going to run 10,000 loops times six windows across all of them. So I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, they're all firing off. Great. While that's happening, I'm going to improve this. So we've got the number of sync threads and async threads. I want to be able to get like the number of queued tasks and the number of processing tasks. Async tasks, and then we'll have a number of tasks being processed across both of them. Is there anything else of any real interest that I can think of? Queued count, running count. Not really. Let's grab these. Find where this is defined down here. Sync tasks dot not the thread count. 
And that's not even a tonic, is it? That's just regular, yeah. Good. Q would count. Async tasks. Okay, that should have had no effect on the running tests. They're at sitting up at about 80 each, or 200 for the shorter test. Yeah. It takes one second for that one and about two seconds for the other one, right? Hmm. I should really see if I can try to pin that down a little bit more. Thread pool and thread pool, and from split thread pool, we want just started threads, basically everything down to there. Do I really put it here? Because then there's an, actually there would be an open window between when it was started and that. So actually, no, we want to change it up to be started. Like we're gonna start it first. Up here instead. That makes a little more sense to me actually. And then we'll exit when it leaves. Just in case, like these take a while to start up for whatever reason. It's a Windows thread. It takes seconds, minutes, hours to start. Who knows? Oh. And then we could do the same thing on the uh, split thread pool as well. Top thread pool is going to be doing joins. Get out of here. And I need to actually do like a delete here. Cause that actually like, yeah. What we got going on over here? They're all about 500, so that's a pretty good thing so far. Okay, I'm going to cancel them all. I'm going to start putting these changes in. I, I, I don't think I can actually do like the test now. It'll have to be another overnight little uh, deal. But 
want to make sure it's basically 100% fine. I've been bitten by this by threading issues too many times. So that thread pools so like that. That's that one's fine. It's this one that has to be worried about. So we need to um, state that, state that, state that, stage that. Stage these. And that. Runners. All runners greater than notify all. Yield. Minus runners. Change that to be runners. Nope, that actually failed horribly. Now I'm going to imagine it's because I added the extra delete for some reason. I guess the join automatically kills itself, so I don't have to do this. So if I did run it on the Atra Sanitizer, it, it did work fine. as fast as you can. Until it just stops? Or what? Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's happy with it. It's cool. Okay. I must have just been crazy thinking. Stage that, rebuild all that while we're going to commit this stuff. Much more stable. Increasing in times of failure from 50 to 5,000 runs. Still failing. To always. Increase. 
Okay. Stopping. After the Tetis also gives the opportunity to number of useful threads. Uh, I need to actually add tests for this. But for the moment, I'm going to actually restart the test loops. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to actually put these in after I change up this. Check. Oh, num. Kid sync tasks for pool equals zero. Async tasks is that. Async tasks. Now we're also going to run the check down here between this and waiting because it can't have finished that quickly. But we just want to make sure it's greater than zero. That's all. Same dealio here. Actually, no, we want to make sure that the async tasks. We need to kind of regroup these a little bit. Go greater than, greater than. Wrong order. Okay, we got these. This is waiting for sync tasks. Greater than equal, and then we want to make sure it's greater than greater than for these ones, which it already is, so that's good. Waiting on all tasks, then we've got the one for destroying the thread pool. Oh, I need to see, can I stop and restart a thread pool? Uh, 
Let me make sure I can do that as well afterwards. I've stopped it and I want to restart it again. And then we destroy it at the end. Okay, I want to kind of change these around to be like 25. One, two, three, four. If I'm doing 200 milliseconds, so I just want to kind of like half this. So it takes half a second and one second. So I do 25. Um, actually, we'll do that as a separate thing. Test. 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 Okay, uh, that's a failure right there. I'm not sure how or what, but we'll find out, won't we? It's just, is it like the, is it every time? Every time, okay. This may be from trying to restart the stop thread pool here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to imagine. So let's go do this into a debug mode. Actually, just do that, and then I can. I imagine I'm just probably not shutting something down correctly in here. Not sure what. Mm hmm. Actually, which test is it? Is it still the old one? This may just be this still the old one. There's more than I'm um, wait, it underflowed? Sorry, what? How? How did it? Oh, right. Yes, 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 yes. Forgot about those ones. That makes sense. I was only incrementing for the one set, the sync threads, not the async threads as well. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Need to add that to. Hmm. Need to fix up.
Okay, uh, I have the Okay, we got that. Now we want to do the rest of these. That, that, and that. Queries. Sync and async tasks. Okay. Now, uh, before I start running 5,000 of these, I want to decrease the amount of time it takes to do all these things again. So. What we're going to do is going to decrease the time to 25, like, uh, or 10 actually. So then increment, so times it by 10 instead, or divided by 10. So what we got, we got this, so this will come down like, sorry, this was 50, right? So divide by five actually. So it goes down to like, it was what, 30% or something like that. So 130. Probably realistically won't want 110, 10% thing. Ten times each, yeah. Do the same thing for the this one. I'm wondering, can I actually do this and, okay, actually I'll put these in as they are and then I'll see if I can re-enable them. And decreased the okay do that put that in Run, 
run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run, run. Yeah, he's running way faster. Or, hold on, it would have appeared to have been. Did I not decrease this one down to like 50 or something like that? Oh, I didn't. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. So I was wondering why it was still running pretty slow. Okay. Goes down to 10. See, this uh, this one had decreased by a factor of 5 from 2.25 to half a second, but that was still a full second. That should have been like one-tenth of a second-ish. Or, sorry, one... Um, 0.2 seconds. Ten thousand times go 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 and that go 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 ah yeah they're really firing off okay all right that was about a solid forty minutes for thread pool again. While those are firing off in the background, is there anything else I want to do? I kind of want to, do I really want to? I'm thinking of maybe kind of reworking this a little bit to be more of a free function thing rather than this. Um, hmm. Or I'll just leave it for now. I'll, I'll still leave, maybe. Okay, another thing I was thinking of was scheduling task. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I guess I'll kind of call it here for the first half. I'll grab a, a bite of eat. I'll get back on a bit later and do something else or see the results and maybe fix things up if it's still firing off badly. All right, cheers. All right, I did actually speak a little bit too soon. Unfortunately, uh, for myself, the targets, I, like the, the timings, were a bit too aggressive. So unfortunately, what's happening is a lot of these tests down here, like checking the number of queued sync tasks and sync, the, uh, these ones are just being zero, unfortunately. And that's leading to a lot of failures on the pipelines. Uh, yeah. I keep thinking that like, these sets of zeros when they should really be something else. So, what I need to do is I need to think of a different way of testing this. Because this is really too time dependent. So take that out. Of here, out of here. Out of here out of here okay what we're going to do instead is we're going to have a second test task we're going to have this it's going to be like a standard atomic boolean What's going to happen is we're going to have uh, the second void test task. We're going to have a wait task. It's just going to like I'll pause threads. 
this is gonna loop there real quick or just sleep for one millisecond something like that and I need to set Corona literals. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to have a separate set of tests. So, waiting on sync tasks, waiting on async tasks, waiting on all tasks, making sure that timing's all very nice and tight. Trying. Checking, checking task queries. That, and then we're going to have that at the end. We're going to have to do start. So I need to set uh, terminate pause threads equals true. So I need to make sure that they start at zero. know that's true what we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking that we have we have two threads so we're going to put three on or hmm. Churchill sync task pool um, that Check that that's zero, check that that's one. Five milliseconds, that should be more than long enough for this to start. Then we do it two more times. That should mean uh, both of these equals num threads. That should be in those that many number threads being processed and only there's one queued at the end. And then we set pause threads equals false. Okay. Async. Think. So that's zero, that's zero. So this is going to be one processing, then we're going to have num threads processing. This will be zero. Let's 
async sync tasks async tasks and then both task types so that and that wait for 10 milliseconds Rather than wait arbitrarily, I really should be doing like a something like that. Something like that. Waiting thread zero, increment and decrement like that. quite working out as I had hoped. Okay, let's find out. Let me pause, we're gonna be sitting right here. Right here, we're waiting for threads to become three, right? And it's only two. Why is it only two? Crap, right. Well, it's less than that, so that makes sense. Because it can only be the number of waiting threads, it can only be the number of actual threads we have running. So it would never complete. Mm -hmm. Not quite. Pause, what we got, where are we sitting? We're sitting here. Waiting threads should be like four, right? We have three, why do we only have three? Oh, yes, we could do both.
still pretty fast. Half a second. I like that. Do tests. Give me the tests data so I can actually make sure I'm actually testing what I think I'm testing. Build CCOV, throw that into Chromium. What we got? A split thread pool, very close to full, and the only reason we're not 100% is because of these areas which only happen if there's a thread allocation failure or if there's just an allocation failure, that's it. The rest of these things, yeah, okay, so that, I'm fine with that. This is just for checking error codes, which I never do. I guess I could, but yeah. That'd be even more droll and boring than most things. Oh, hold on. Whoa. Why was this one failing? Oh, I need to do it the other order because otherwise, yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah, because otherwise a, the async thread could steal an asy uh, asynchronous task. But that actually gives me a nice idea. I could do two sync tasks. The numbers of sync tasks, and that'll be so that'll be those should be zero, which would be num threads times two, zero, and zero. So zero to num threads, num threads times two, zero. Okay, if that should work, but it's not. Question is why? for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, where we paused.
we have 4. I, what? I don't get it. This is count of two. Okay. Why? Why? Why would the the async threads? Okay, see, this is this is why I'm I make tests is because like I'm missing bits and pieces of logic here and there. Because I'm uh, really a pretty garbage programmer. But what's going on is that on the sync when I'm scheduling a sync task, if I can find it, schedule sync task, schedule task. I'm only notifying my task group. I am not also should notify the async threads in case there's a uh, one that can take it. I need to do like people async tasks dot available dot notify one as well afterwards. There we go. That and that should it in um result in threads working properly to my mind. Hey, something's happening. That's great. That's kind of difficult. I need to do that. I need to make sure that the sync task is actually going to a asynchronous thread, then do the async task. Make sure that goes to async task thread. Because the async task might, just might, start a little bit earlier or uh, get the uh, work first and go off on that instead. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it's luck of the draw. Do the async first, then do the sync. Okay, do the same thing here. Num threads plus the one sync task, and then we move on to that one. Okay. Hmm. Oh! And then it freezes.
<laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah, this is uh, pretty bad. We have a little bit of chaos going on in here. Async tasks seem to be able to jump on sync jobs faster than sync threads. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is how we're going to have to roll with this now. These need to equal one. That needs to equal the number of threads, perhaps. Sync tasks. Okay. There has to be one, these have to be zero. These have to match number of threads times two, and there has to be at least one left over from the original. Okay, all this effort, all this effort, just to make sure I can actually test this. My mind, come on. Wait, is it running it twice? And then it's, it, then it's freezing up. There we go. We got it. It's frozen. Okay, where are we? We're here waiting for a number of threads. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got two. Okay. Should have two async, number of async tasks plus one sync. Oh, but this could be taken up by that. Ah! Okay, I need to rework this test. The, 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 this nonsense. Um,
fill up the async, then fill up the sync. Make sure there's one left over on both. I don't know why I'm running it twice. Still fast. I like that. Okay. We have more stuff to add. For hold on, what what's the uh, thing? Just time of execution, task count information. Okay, you know what? Task execution fix up. And then, I don't know. Split pool fix up. Okay, implemented that. It needs to go back here. Squash that. I want to add a bit more information to this. Maybe I can get some of the information from the header and throw it in there. So we got for 70. Is it 80, 72? It was 50, 72. So that's... Okay, and we got something of an issue here. Accept the incoming change. Okay, let's uh, abort and just do it again. So what we got? A split pool fix up. Put that up here. So we need squash. We'll just do one at a time. to 
Okay, we're up to that. Now, what, what we got with the uh, last one? Why could I not move that up? Undo the last commit. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, we'll just we'll just say that we uh, fixed up. Okay, what about nothing? Nothing. Okay, uh, good news though, all of the old original thread pool passed 10,000 across the six, so that's 60,000 runs of the application, no hangs. That is something that I really like, very much, very, very much. So now I just need to make sure that the new split thread pool does the same, and I'll be super happy. Let's get those ones firing off. You know what? I'll actually do the same thing here as well. I'm just going to use that one. So I'm going to use the other six terminals to do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and six. actually, hold on, six. This is still the debug version, isn't it? So let's uh, actually stop all these. Put in the release one. The release one is the one that really counts. Release, no code coverage, no sanitizer. All of that. We'll put up that new version as well of the thread pools and that. Close that, close that, back to here. We'll send all 12 to do 10,000, so there'll be 120,000 runs. If that's not gonna prove that to myself that this is finally stable and workable 100% of the time, nothing will. Twelve runs. Okay, twelve. I mean, that's basically my entire CPU will be used up for that. Yeah, not really. Okay, uh, time to basically wait for all that to happen again. So, BRB. All right, just to cap things off uh, for Threadpool, uh, I had it running overnight. I did, let's see how many, how many of these windows, 10, around 100,000 times, okay, 10 times 50,000, so 500, half a million times, so.
across a whole bunch of uh, tabs on the console. So that's you know, half half a million runs of the application. It seems to be solid. I'm sure there's still going to be a spurious case. Some uh, some person gets a cosmic ray and causes it to, to, to hang somehow. But otherwise, this is as solid as it's going to get for now. So I'm going to merge it into main and call it a day on that. Just making sure that the CI is right. Yeah. Okay. So, and then we're good. Yeah. Number of changes. And actually, no. What if I, ch I okay, I'm going to change what the application is using right here, right now. I can actually cap it off with that instead. So, uh, Click pool two, get branch main, reset that. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to change this up from thread pool to thread pool. to the application side. We're going to turn off tests for the moment and extras and examples. Build everything a little bit faster. We want this to actually start off as Then we come into here. <clears throat> we do have error code. Yes. So error code equals uh, we'll have one and one, well, one of each basically. If error code, then we have error code and program tuple, I believe, is the one we have. Yeah. here we would have had these but instead it's if I mean, it doesn't really have much effect yet, but, you know, it is there. 
Mm-hmm. Give me... Oh, I got Vulcan. Yeah. That's a lot slower. Why is that slower? Oh, do I still have... I might. Okay, yeah, that's why. Ah, I had uh, some pro uh, graphics rendering in the back. That's better. 0.3, 0.4 millis, uh, milliseconds a frame. That's what I was looking for. Almost. I'll have like an async thing around here somewhere. There it is. Now, this is probably turned off for the moment because I need to figure out some safety stuff. Otherwise, it's probably going to crash half the time. Maybe. I'll look at that later. But at least I got that converted over. That's what matters. There's no actual extra testing that goes on with that. I don't. I just build the application. That's all. Got these changes. I'll call it there for the night. Good night and cheers.